Welcome back everybody. Today I brought a special guest. The man himself, the guy who's doing my turntable setup, Oz from Let There Be Sound. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you know what to do. Today, it just dawned on me. I thought it would be a great opportunity. It is right now, what, 10 o'clock at night? It's 10.30. 10 10.40. 10.40. Yeah. At night. And I invited Oz to come over for the first time. That's right. Thank you for coming over, you know, for coming over and uh, listening to my madness. I know that I have had a few people show up on my channel and give opinions. But I think this would be a very qualified opinion because obviously he is in the industry. He has heard a lot of different systems and he has a very nice built system himself. Yeah. Um, now, of course, it is no secret by now that he is primarily dedicated to analog. Now, that doesn't mean he knows nothing about digital, but his strength is turntables and reel-to-reel, -reel, right. tapes, things of that nature. I thought it would be a great opportunity to have him come out and listen to my all-digital rig, a system that you guys have been hearing for over two years. Uh, and I figure it would be a great time to have him come over and listen to the presentation to the system that I believe is the best version of me that I have ever had over the last two years. Now again, your sentiment, your feeling out there might be different, but keep in mind, you are listening through YouTube. So very different thing to listen through YouTube than being in here. And you're going to have an opportunity now to go home and perhaps circle back to the recordings that I have posted and hopefully understand what you heard here as yeah. opposed to what you pick up on YouTube. You know, if you have headphones at some point, listen, because I did play some of those songs that I normally play for everyone on That's my right. channel. That's right. Okay, so what I wanted to do today, I thought it would be a very, very good opportunity to get his take as to what he heard. And before he begins, he heard my Boulder gear. He heard my Select 2 MSB DAC. He heard the Magical S7s. And of course, Strong Tank connected in the mix. Mm -hmm. The typical cables that you guys have seen on my channel. And the Tyco Extreme music server. Let me give him the mic so he can begin to talk about what he heard from inside the room. His initial impressions. Let him articulate. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. That's right. Well, I appreciate the invitation. I'm very honored to be here tonight. And I would say that my first and more lasting impressions are the incredible amount of dynamic slam that the system reproduces. The bass, guys, is absolutely insane. The way the loudspeakers are loading the room, these are sealed, and they're playing so well with the room that when slam and bass happens, it really hits you in the chest. So it's really fantastic to experience that. If the music requires it, then the system's going to dish it out. I would easily say, Jay, that um, as good as your recordings are that you post on YouTube, it's really, it pales in comparison to the real deal. Okay. Um, I did, uh, listen, uh, like he said, I am all about analog. That's my preference. And I will tell you that we've been listening to for over an hour yep. at very more than high level, I would say, almost not soft or mid. It's at the levels that I like. And not once, even though again, full digital, did I feel any strain, that there was any brightness in the system. Um, some recordings as always will be better than others, but n even the ones that I could say were slightly less preferable, they never hurt my ear, my ears. My ears yeah. So that to me is rather important because that tells me that I could listen to the system for hours and hours and hours on end, which is really so important to me. Yeah. And the reason I typically prefer analog systems, I find them kinder to the ear, more uh, musical for the, on the long term. So to me, that's key. So I would say, man, you've done a great job here. The system delivers in spades. Imaging is through the roof. Dynamic Slam, I think, is, uh, I really, I don't think I've heard better. And I've wow. been to a lot of shows. I've, Thank you. I've heard a lot of big systems. So, so that's something. 
um, very clean, very resolute. Um, yet, I look towards this day, the, in a few weeks, maybe a month, where I can deliver to you your amazing new turntable and see what that does. Because I, I think uh, that, will, that will be incredible in here. But anyway, that remains to be seen. I'm very happy that he finally addressed some of the concerns that you guys have. One of them being the lack of bass. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> he is here. So he no, is guys, giving you... Guys. There's no way a Shure mic or a GoPro or whatever he's using to capture the sound can fully convey the amount of energy that the room and the loudspeakers will produce. Simply impossible. And as good as you think, even his best captures come through on YouTube, from 1 to 10, that's barely a 6.5 or 7. When you hear the real deal, it's, you know, much better, I think. It's very difficult, guys, to capture the bass, it's okay? It's, it's extremely hard. difficult. I can't stress that enough. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things that um, no matter how hard I try, um, I almost have to force myself to walk with the mic throughout the room yeah. until I find the perfect spot. And then at that point, of course, I could be dead center between the speakers, yeah. uh, two feet away from them. Who knows where that would, where the mic would land? Um, but that could be a very painful exercise. Yeah. Um, of course, we know that YouTube is never going to give you 100% of what's mm -hmm. happening inside the room. And that's yeah. totally fine. You guys should understand that the intent with YouTube, through YouTube, is to yeah. make sure that you guys have an idea, yeah, an understanding if something got brighter, something got clearer, yeah. or something got warmer. Yeah. It's the overall feeling. It's almost like an appetizer. It's only a teaser, a taste. Something yeah. is a taste of things, okay? Yeah. So that when you guys are listening, you can say, I can definitely say that this one sounds clearer than that one, or this one has more brightness than the other, or this one, the vocals are better. You can pick up those things at a high level, mm -hmm. but never dissect it the way you can when you're in front of the system. Now, I know magical speakers, magical speakers have been criticized as being enormously bright, uh, cold, sterile, and I understand that conversation. I get that. When he first sat down, first comment he made within the first 10 minutes maybe was, I paused the music and he says, let me just say something. I don't find anything bright here. Like, I am here listening. That's what you said. I would be very sensitive to that, and not once did I feel that way. He so, felt yeah. that way, um, and uh, you know, and he's a person that he loves. He loves soft dome tweeters, That's right. uh, and I do too. I yeah. think they're special too. Yeah. Um, so coming from him, and the first thing he articulated is, it isn't bright at all here. Yeah. Like I thought I was in for some sort of a punishment um, in here, and I realized it isn't. Um, yeah. So that was one of the shocking things yeah. that you mentioned. Yeah. And I think number two, it's fair to say the mm -hmm. impact. The, oh, yeah. The impact. That is something. It's it's. Uh, if you told me you had like two or three giant 18-inch subwoofers, you I would have believed you, but that's not what it is. It's, it's just what these are doing on their own. And, and yeah. I've had many speakers here, Oz, um, uh -huh. even bigger woofers than these. Oh, yeah? And nothing has nothing created has those, these. nothing, yeah. nothing in my room. And that yeah. goes to show you that you have to find the right speaker for That's your right. room. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that this is going to be the best speaker for everybody else. Correct. Yeah. Maybe one of the other speakers that I had mm -hmm. in Could here where it would be better for them. Elsewhere, but yeah. for this room, I am finding positive results with this seal cabinet, yeah. uh, which leads me to believe that Maybe I could, I should continue to to, to perhaps try different seal cabinet mm. design speakers, okay. um, but anyway, you know, we heard a system that you know I'm very proud to showcase, um, and I have assembled this uh, all of this together uh, on my own. Essentially, it's been all my legwork, blood, sweat, and tears. That's right. You know, um, I haven't. I've had opinions uh, before I bought equipment. I've had people whose years I trust mm -hmm. come in and give me feedback about certain things. But overall, I mean, I would say this is my body of work, and I'm very proud to yeah, share this with you guys, be. my viewers. Absolutely. Um, Oz, you know, it's, um, I'm very excited to try that turntable in here. I want to see how the presentation 
um, compares to sure. my digital system. Now, I know you said something that stuck with me, and that mm -hmm. is that in certain songs, you felt that there was a lot more naturalness, organ organic feeling in the vinyl version of mm -hmm. some songs. Yeah. And my argument was, I totally believe you because you have the actual right. record. Yeah. But when we're streaming, I feel that there is so many challenges coming through the ethernet, yeah. through the network, right. through the router, mm -hmm. that a lot of it has to get lost. I'm sure before it, it gets to us. So right. I wonder, right. you know, this leads me to believe, I wonder how CDs mm -hmm. would compare, great CDs would compare, sure, sure. super audio CDs. Yeah, having specific. the physical media with you right. physical media would probably sound better than anything you can stream. Compared to yeah. perhaps the vinyl. Okay. Perhaps, that would be something special. Sure. Maybe even buying high res files and downloading them totally. into my Takeo Music server. Absolutely, you should. You know, you could probably bring the best you know, uh, vinyls, the best records, records yeah, that you sure, have, sure. and I can just buy them. I have a vast collection of records, See? so I, I really I have download them. Download them, yeah. download them high resolution. That's right. Not stream, download yeah. them and compare. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be more of a fair comparison. Because, I think so. Uh, because even the song, what's the name of that, um, mm -hmm. the, the artist, that last one, that's uh, John... Uh, oh, um, uh, John Armour Trading. Okay. The British, e yeah. e even her, it, it, by the way, that's this a phenomenal... Um, yeah. album you're Her looking at titled original album yeah that's incredible you're looking at the album right now on the screen okay phenomenal the first song what's the name of the first song? down to zero down to zero on this album is phenomenal i'm yes. going to add it to my playlist right now mm -hmm. um and uh, that way you guys have it i haven't played it on the channel but i will yeah um, <clears throat> i heard it at yeah. his place and i was very on, your big, on the big table Twice on the little table, the little DVI yes. that blew you away. Yes. But when we played it again on Monday on the Kronos, we were like we lost it. It was incredible. Yeah. And, and I thank you for showing me uh, yeah. this this uh, artist, which I need to listen to the full album to be honest with you. Yeah, it's fantastic. He said he was very impressed with how it came through. It did. Streaming. Sure. He actually felt very impressed. He felt like damn, like it. It, it was a great master, and I feel the master, and I think was fantastic and it came through even through the streaming but it, then I mentioned that I still felt like sure you know it was like 9 out of 10 where I feel the vinyl is 10 out of 10 at least the new remastering right the intervention records okay. that's just supreme and on your big table it is out of this world so we're we're waiting to uh, assemble this thing yeah. just so you guys know this is not going to happen this month because I have to order the stand and that right. takes as you know everything is taking weeks now yeah I have to order an Artisania audio stand, three shelf, three shelf rack system with the matching turntable shelf yeah. on the top. And that's going to take anywhere from three to four weeks to get here. So I want to make sure I'm clear. You're not going to see the turntable this month. He's going to have it. He's going to yeah. continue to evaluate it and, you know, do his own comparisons. Yeah. Uh, and then by the time it's probably the, probably by the, by the first week in August, I think, we should have it here. Uh, we should have it here. Plus, you need a cartridge as well. I know you guys, on the last video that I had with him, mm -hmm. um, a lot of the comments, and I know you haven't had a chance to, to look at them. Okay. Sorry. Some of the commentary was, uh -huh. you guys have been down that rabbit hole. Um, and you guys got tired of it because the, everything is tinkering and tweaking and tweaking, and mm -hmm. you can drive yourself nuts with vinyl, with turntables. And so... You guys left that type of playback and started to pursue digital because it's just easier, friendlier, if you will. Um, I have to not only buy the turntable, which I already did, but I also have to buy the stand. Right. I am bringing a phono stage that's two chassis. Yeah. That's another two additional shelves. I have to also figure out where I'm going to insert it in the room, right. then feed it power. That's an additional expense. Then buy the longer XLR cables to go from wherever the phono stage will be right. all the way to the preamplifier. You know I can't buy no Amazon XLRs for that. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to cost me a pretty penny. So right. this entire, plus the cartridge. And the cartridge. This entire game or this entire attempt at vinyl is not coming cheap. So I yeah. thank you all for warning me that it can get quite pricey because I'm starting to feel it. It's not like a DAC that you can just buy the chassis, yeah. good power cord, good interconnects, 
Mm. Put it on a nice not shelf. That simple, yeah. And mind you, I am sure I'm not even scratching the surface with what I'm doing. I am sure there's so much more I could explore, a different tone arm. Uh, there's so many different things that I can go out there and buy to make the presentation better. Yeah. But I have to keep in mind, guys, that I am, I, I am giving this a try. Right. So I can't go out there and buy a ridiculous expensive cartridge. Um, because if tomorrow I decide for whatever reason, and I'm not saying that will be the case, I'm not saying that. Right. But if tomorrow I decide, you know what, it's not for me. Yeah. Right. Possible. I can't be with a fifteen thousand dollar cartridge, okay, and knowing that now I gotta sell a fifteen thousand dollar dollar cat cartridge, and that's gonna be a huge hit for me. Mm -hmm. So I am going to keep the cartridge probably at around an MSRP of seven thousand dollars. I know some of you guys are going to say, oh, I can't believe you're going to put a cartridge of $7,000 on a turntable like that. I understand that, guys, but hear me out. It is my first try. That's right. Right? So I need to hear the turntable, and I'm sure it's phenomenal. Yeah. Even with a $7,000 or a $5,000 cartridge, it has to really mean business. Like, when I hear it, I have to be, I'm sure I'm going to hear something special. It's not going to be a... You know, a scrub, it's not going to be garbage just because I have, a, whatever, a $5,000 cartridge. I'm sure it's going to impress me, let alone with the phono stage that I'm going to be use, yeah. using for this. So, if I decided that analog, after I use it or live with it for a few months, is something that I want to continue to own, then I can begin to look for a better cartridge. Then I can say, I want to take it to a whole new level. Yeah. That's my train of thought. So understand where I'm coming from. It is my first attempt. None of you guys that own digital out there went out and bought an MSB deck, right? $120,000 MSB Select 2, right? You all started somewhere right. and then worked your way to the top. So I happen to start at a great brand, Kronos. Yeah. But when it comes to cartridge, I got to find a way um, I, f I find a component, something where I need to cut a little bit of a corner somehow. And that, to me, is the cartridge, at least initially. Yeah, it's fine. Okay? Now, the shelves, I can always use those for the rest of my components. I The shelves, if tomorrow I don't have the turntable, I can always utilize those shelves with other components that I have here. Not a problem. It'll continue. They'll continue to be here. Um, I am talking to several uh, friends of mine who are big on turntables they all they all have great turntables um it's such a difficult conversation us because yeah. when i am communicating with uh these turntable gurus and i let's say i'm asking for an opinion on a cartridge you have of course you know what you like yeah. and they have what they like so it's yeah. like which way do i even go mm -hmm. it is a difficult situation at the end and then you guys are going to recommend i'm sure right now on the comment section which i urge you to comment below yeah. as far as which cartridge do you feel would be best suited for 7500 dollars msrp or below for this turntable and i'm capping it at 7500 bucks okay remember that eight thousand okay fine that's where i'm capping it i need to come in under 10 grand yeah. for this next cartridge um and uh it's hard because i have no sense of direction yeah Mm -hmm. So for me, it's kind of like what this person may like, maybe they go for a softer sound. Correct. And I feel like it's too soft for me. Or yeah. And then the other one may go for more of a neutral, two in your face, or yeah. a different type of sound that may not necessarily even have synergy with my system. That's yeah. another thing. Yeah. Because the cartridge also has to kind of do this and click with yeah. the rest of your system. Correct. Correct. So it's a very difficult conversation to have right now i'm still about i'm still thinking about different options if you have a recommendation i urge you to leave me comments underneath and uh and that's it let's see where this journey takes us i did this because of you all because you guys have wanted to see something different so i'm bringing analog to the channel to I wouldn't say meet the needs, but I can't think of a better word right now because it's really tight. It's really light, late, late, late at night. Uh, but I'm trying to make sure I can change it up, switch it up for some of you guys so that you have something different to listen to. Okay. If anything, then I can at least talk about 
analog and digital at length at some point. I'm never going to know as much as he knows. I'm never going to know as much as the rest of the turntable gurus know because they have probably been playing with turntables for as long as I've lived. Yeah. So um, it's going to be a difficult mm -hmm. gap for me to close. And mm -hmm. I'm aware of that. I, get, I will need to be schooled. I can, man, I can't even play a record. I can't even change the track on the damn record. That's how out of it I am. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even know how to lift the needle and put it on the next song. That's how bad I am. But I'm here to tell you that. I'm here to yeah. share that intimate, that in, those intimate details about me. I'm not ashamed to yeah. say that. That's no shame in that at all. Everybody has to learn. Yeah. And so if I learn, yeah. this is urging me to learn. That's right. You know, so anyway, guys, it's late. He's got to drive home. Yeah. And um, I am just happy to be able to share all of this with you all. And of course... Having Oz in here in my room. Yes, thank you. My so man, thank you so my much. Pleasure. He's speaking from the heart. That's I don't right. hold anybody hostage. It's the reality. So I appreciate all the support, all the love. And of course, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. More to come your way. Peace. Take care. Good night.